वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टू पावर प्लांट गुरु यूट्यूब चैनल फ्रेंड्स आई एम ए मैकेनिकल इंजीनियर विद अराउंड ट्वेंटी ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इन द फील्ड ऑफ पावर प्लांट एंड आई यूज टू क्रिएट स्मॉल फंडामेंटल नॉलेज सीरीज वीडियोस फॉर पावर प्लांट इंजीनियर्स वी आल्सो रन डाउट क्लियरिंग सेशंस ऑन वीकेंड्स सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रीच एस यू कैन रीच एस थ्रू कमेंट सेक्शन एंड ज्वाइन आवर वीकेंड क्लासेस let us continue to watch our today's video hello friends welcome to power plant guru's new video in this video we will talk about very basics of steam generation fundamentals and why steam is being as the preferred fluid for carrying heat as well as what is the different a uh, heat transfer mechanism to understand detail in how the tubes are transferring heat from the flue gases to the steam so that we will understand basically to understand what is nucleate boiling and what is departure from nucleate boiling so let us deep dive into this and understand the important concepts so yes now let us understand or even uh, uh, what i feel most of you are already knowing the concept of latent heat and sensible heat but let us understand uh, uh, with the terms of some number so if you see here we are taking sensible heat example where you are heating the water and getting the temperature rise so if you uh, increase the temperature from 32 degree fahrenheit to 212 or in other words 0 degree celsius to 100 degree celsius the water will absorb 180 btus that means 180 british thermal units per pound so one pound of water you increase the temperature of heat from uh, 32 degree fahrenheit to 212 you need 180 btu but at at the same time once you want to change the phase of fluid from water to steam so at atmospheric pressure if you heat water above 100 degrees celsius or 212 degree fahrenheit it will go for a phase change and for per pound of water you will need approximately 970 btus per pound that means if you see it is close to 200 it is close to 1000 so five times close to five times uh more heat is required at here so that is why uh, this water is used as uh, many a times used as a heat carrying media so it carries a lot of heat once it stage changes the phase from water to steam that is why steam is a preferred media for utilizing steam and let's say if you are working in a refinery or in a chemical plant so you may be your uh, maybe one plant pvc plant or maybe uh, gas cracker plant so uh, you you will have a steam going to this plant and steam going to this plant at you know a different pressure and temperature so how they decide that what pressure pressure and temperature is required so this is a very important concept so uh, here what we understood the latent heat is high so everybody will try to utilize this heat so they try to get steam in such a way that during that process whatever process they are utilizing in this plant the steam comes and transfer transfer the latent heat that is why this different pressure and temperature is required so that once it reaches this pressure this process it will transfer the latent heat that is why different pressure and temperatures are devised for different units i hope you understood have uh, this one stuff here yeah. so let us uh, let us understand the next uh, uh, important concept where you need to understand the radiative conductive and convective convective heat transfer i know you must have known this but uh, let us try to understand in a context of the boiler so you know that there is a radiative heat which is in the direct line of fire or direct line of sight where you whatever is there in direct line of sight that part only will have latent or radiative heat 
Another is heat when the same type of particle try to convey the heat to different particle in the same fluid. That is, the water is the water is here is more hot, and it is giving transfer uh, transferring heat to the other part other molecules, and then in turn it is uh, circulating and then giving the heat transfer to the entire fluid. And similarly, conduction is like metal to metal. There uh, you have uh, your molecules, internal molecules, which uh, transfer the heat and then metal temperature will increase. So now in the case of boiler, uh, let us uh, try to understand. So the tubes will be something like this. There, this, uh, let's see, this is the, your uh, tube. This is your tube. If we talk about the cross section of the tube, so here from this side there may be radiative heat coming because it is a, uh, it is inside the furnace, and here you have your water. Now, in case of furnace, you will give radiative heat to this particle. Now, up to this water is inside, so heat has to travel to inside, and then you will have your uh, heat transfer to the boiler. So first there is a uh, radiative heat which is coming. Now at this section there is a conductive. So metal is outer surface is transferring heat to the inner, inner surface. And then from inner surface the heat is transferred to water. So now water is heated at the, the these uh, places where it is in touch with the metal and after that this entire place is heated due to the uh, what we say convective heat transfer. Now so this is why I am telling because we are going to take uh, this concept in next topic which is nucleate boiling. So this is how the, uh, the heat transfer is getting progress. Uh, let me repeat radiative or here maybe uh, let's say it is not in the furnace it is in the economizer so this this place uh, this place heat transfer to the metal will be convective because it is uh, getting heat from the flue gases not directly from the furnace right so this will be your convective heat transfer this will be your radiative in case of there is a direct uh, fire uh, uh, the tube can see so after that tube outer surface has taken the heat it will transfer by conduction to the inner surface and then conduction uh, uh, conduction process will increase the heat for inner surface and then at inner surface their water will be in touch with that metal part and that water will be heated and then that particular water molecules will be uh, transferring heat to each other so that the entire uh, water gets heated by convective process okay yeah let's uh, go to the next one now what we have seen is water uh, has taken uh, heat from this tube inside surface now uh, that water is uh, you know like sticking on the surface of uh, your uh, this tube so there will be this tube will be hot and at this uh, place there will be waters particle so what will happen this water will be evaporate evaporating evaporating and then bursting into uh, bubble type and then this place will be emptied and new water particle will be there something like this let's say let's say if we this kind of process this kind of process this this will burst this will burst and the new new water will come there will be another uh, bubble will come and then there will be these bubble will burst and this another bubble will come so that kind of process uh, is there and that is called your nucleate boiling so nucleate boiling is the process which uh, is desired and then let's say there is another let you you don't have that much temperature initially what will happen there will be no bubble it's a single phase liquid only so it will give transfer to here uh, metal inside surface 
and uh, then it will give transfer to the other uh, water particle and water particle will internally transfer it so there is no this bubble formation only small heat is good once you increase the temperature then there will be this nucleate boiling and after that also if you give more heat input you increase the delta t and it will try to increase the the heat transfer uh, in the furnace or you give you more heat so what will happen this nucleate boiling particle will not burst and then other uh, particle will not replace what will happen whatever is there in that uh, uh, outer uh, layer of the water that will continue become as a steam here this bubble will not burst whatever is there that is coming like a steam only so this steam will try to make a insulating surface here this will try to make a insulating surface and then insulating surface will what what will do it will act as a non-conductive thing it is kind of insulating uh, insulating means the the tube is getting heat but here you have a layer which is insulating so your water which is inside is not getting that heat which it was getting in the nucleate boiling phase so what will happen this is getting heat but the heat is not getting withdrawal so what will happen overheating so overheating will cause the damage in the tubes that is uh, that is an undesired process so that will call here it is your nucleate boiling and here if it is a continuous steam continuous steam then what we call it is a DNB, which is departure from nucleate boiling. So this is a very important concept. Now we in, in the next video will try to build upon this concept also. But uh, I hope this is clear and you people have got uh, it clearly. If not, you can ask me in the comment section and try to respond to this query. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for uh, watching PowerPoint Guru. If you have any question, you can ask in comment section. And uh, you can uh, join us uh, for our weekend classes. Today, we have one class uh, uh, where we discuss many of the doubts. And we, will going, we are going to have another one next Sunday, 4 to 5 p.m. IST. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching us.